Father God, you know us perfectly. The problems we face, the choices we make, the things we really want deep down inside. We really want to do the right thing, but so often we mess up. Our sins are like the dirty dust and ashes in this bowl. So as we pour out these ashes, watching them cover the bright clean surface, and we're going to remember the ways in which we've got it wrong, the ways that we have not lived like Jesus. We have ignored your plans. We haven't loved others in the way that you love us. We have hidden from you. We haven't looked after the things that you have given us. Our sin is breaking the world. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. Amen. We are sorry for hurting ourselves, for hurting others, for hurting the world, and most of all for hurting you, God. Please help us. Make us clean again. Show us the brightness of your love. Amen. Good news, the whiteness of the paper shines through the darkness of the ashes, just like God's light shines through our wrongs. God, we thank you for your forgiveness that pours from the cross. Thank you for your power that helps us to live lives of love. Amen. The cross reminds us of God's forgiveness and love for us. Usually on Ash Wednesday, the vicar would put a cross on the, everybody's forehead and usually people keep it on their heads all day and it shows others that they belong to Jesus and that he has forgiven them. We can't do that this year but we can still show that we trust Jesus, that we belong to Jesus. We can draw a cross, we can put it in our windows. There are lots of different ways to make a cross for your window. You could draw a picture of one and put it up there with blue tack or you could paint on the window. Make sure that you ask whoever owns the window first. We'd love to see your pictures of crosses too, so send them to us on Facebook or through email. <laughs>